Well, life doesn't always work out the way you expect. In some ways, it turned out much better than expected for Kalihi native turned California newscaster Jan Yanehiro. KITV4's Diana Ko tonight shares her secrets for aging well. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Jan Yanahero and tackling my neck is Oliver here and above. For 15 years, San Francisco television viewers welcomed Jan Yanahero into their homes. From Hawaii to the Bay Area as the co-host of Evening Magazine on KPIX. It was the best job in the world I had. It's a dream job, she says, only seemed like a dream while growing up on Oahu. I never thought growing up here in the islands, remember I went to Farrington, born and raised in Kalihi Valley, that I would be on television hosting a television show that was seen five nights a week. Who ever thought that I would do that? This is Yanahiro as a high school senior. After graduating in 1966, she attended UH Manoa before transferring to Fresno State University. With a college degree in hand, she accepted a job as a flight attendant for TWA for a bit, then made the jump into broadcasting. Every television station in San Francisco turned me down for a job, but I kept knocking on doors. Her big break came in 1975. Yanahira was hired to do an experimental news magazine show on CBS, making her one of the first Asian American newscasters in the country. Dream big, dream bold. I got to do that against, you know, all odds, and I got to have a fabulous career in San Francisco. I grew up here in Hawaii, in Honolulu, and for me... The job may look glamorous, even easy to some, but for Yanahiro, the work ethic she learned living in Hawaii became the backbone of her success. Maybe growing up in Kalihi Valley, maybe being from Farrington, that, you know, you're always, you're always working. Yanahiro says she was tested in 1995 when her life took a plunge. And my children were 12, 10, and 6 years old, when my husband died. She survived the biggest tragedy of her life because of three gal pals who shared their wisdom in a book entitled, This Is Not the Life I Ordered. You know, life is up and down and sideways, and I always say, you know, if you're on the path of life and you get whacked off, you can get back on, and you must. But how do you get back on the path? When life is not what you ordered, you can begin again. Surround yourself with great friends, number one. Ask for help, number two. And just believe that you will get back on that path of life. When her run on TV was done, Yanahiro launched and directed a communication school for the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. To stay positive, she makes regular visits to Hawaii. Here in Hawaii, what's not to get up to? The sun is bright, the palm trees are swaying. I'm looking out the window and I can see surfers out there. And every time she's back in the state, her top priority is soaking in some aloha spirit. And I don't think life stops at 71, by the way, Diane. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. So you can always get back on track. Never know what's going to happen. you got to roll with the punches, right? Worse to live by.